In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool way to export your ChatGPT uh, conversations into um, the editor or into your own file. I'll also, show you an, a tool in here called the Chat Log Explorer. It's really awesome. Check this out. So, let's say for example, you're in your this only this is only for ChatGPT. So this is, doesn't apply to any of the other AI engines like Bard or uh, Bing or anything like that. So. Let me just show you like a lot of times in here you'll have like a ton of data over here like all your different conversations just like a ton of them and it's hard to search through them so here's a couple things you can do now before i get to the search part i do want to talk about ex exporting a conversation so i clicked on one here uh, what is it i think it was just rewrite some content on this particular chat and say i wanted to get this into the editor so down here you'll see that when you're inside the, this is the inside the browser part here and you're on a chat GPT website you'll see this little button down here appear so when you click that you'll get some options and here we can extract the chat content to the script editor so if we click that it'll automatically grab that and throw it into the script editor and now we can see the whole chat here and what chat GPT um, returned and whatnot and then we can utilize it in here if you want to use the content Put that to the side. Another thing you can do is you can actually save this entire chat content to an HTML file. So let's do that. We just click that and go ahead and save it here. And it will automatically open up in your browser and it looks like this. So you can see your questions here is in blue. And then the chat GPT will respond and it will be in black. So that's kind of handy. You can have these, these files, you can have these chats in HTML files on your computer. So that's really cool. Now let's show you the chat log explorer. So if you click down here as well, you'll see you'll you'll see this chat log explorer. And you can also access it from the tools over here and come down to chat log explorer. So I'm going to click that. And this is your chat log explorer. But now what this tool is, you get to you get to basically view and search all of your chats inside of ChatGPT. But before you can use this tool, we have to actually get our chat history. And it's really easy to do that. So click the little three dots down here in your account and go to settings and beta, and then go to um, data controls, and you'll see export data. Make sure not to click the delete account, obviously, if you don't want to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and click export. And what it will do is it will send me an email with a link to download it and for me it's nearly instant but I'm gonna go check my email right now all right so I just check my email and we got this link here and we our button I should say so I click that and it asked me to download it so I select the spot here to download my computer and you can see it's a zip file so I'm just gonna save it there and it's downloaded and you could see the data file right here. Now it's a big zip file. And inside that zip file, there's gonna be your data, all your conversations. Now, just for example purposes here, let's go ahead and just extract this. So you don't have to extract it. I'll show you in just a second, but you can right click and in Windows, you could just go to uh, extract all right here. And it will create a folder and extract all the data inside that folder. And the folder is the same name as the zip file. So if I click in there, you'll see these data files. And you see this one here, conversations.json. This is the one that has everything in it. It's a big massive file of all your conversations you've had since you have that account in ChatGPT. So this tool that I showed you, you load in this data file, or you can actually just load in the entire uh, zip file so i'm going to do it that way so it's just easier so i'm just going to delete that folder i don't really have to need it so let me show you something so now if we go back here and let's open up the chat log explorer now here's all you have to do now you can click load and you can load the json or the zip file but i made an easier way just grab that fo that file and just drag it right in and just like that there is all of my chats so now we can see um, there's an ID given to this conversation. This is needed to uh, do searching capabilities. The data file. Now here's a cool part. If you have more than one JSON file or data file, you can drop all of them at once right in there. So say if you've saved, you exported your data and maybe cleared out your account and got new data, or maybe you have two uh, ChatGPT accounts, you can load them all at once and you can search them all. So it's pretty awesome. And so 
now you have your titles and now we have the exact dates of when these were created. You don't have that inside of ChatGPT. They just give you like yesterday, seven days ago, 30 days ago kind of thing. But now we know the exact dates, the model, the number of messages in, in each chat conversation. And this is the start of the conversation. In here, it only holds about 350 characters start of the conversation because this one here has 106 messages. There's no way I can actually put that content directly in this grid or bog down your computer. But now here comes the awesome part. Now I want to search for data in here. You can actually, there's a couple ways. You can search up here, you click this little search button. You can actually search your titles instantly. So say you're looking for something really specific. Just start typing and you'll find it. And same with like number of messages. Say I'm only interested in seeing um, messages more than 20 or 50. You can just instantly go like that and, and filter it down. Now here comes another awesome part. In here, I added another search capability. See, now you can search within that data file for any keyword. Let's say I want to look for stuff to do with Delphi. That's the programming language I use to develop the software. And I've asked ChatGP, Chat, Chat, sorry, ChatGPT a lot of stuff about Delphi. So say I'm looking for a specific conversation, just click it in here and click go. It goes right into the file and it found 52 conversations that have Delphi in it. And that's in the conversation itself. So within the 106, it did it that fast. Let's say you want to do a date range. Let's just clear this out. And you'll see when you clear this out, it remembers and it puts back all the conversations here. There's 196 I've gotten here. But let's say I want to do a time frame. If you click here and you go, I just want to see the last seven days, go, pretty neat. If I want to see the last 30 days, last 90 days or a, cust or a custom range. You do a custom range and here you can select the, dart, the start date and the end date. Click apply and then go. If you want to go back to all time there, go like that. So that's pretty cool. Now here comes another awesome part. Let's say for example, I want to see this conversation. Check this out. All you have to do is just double click and it brings up a chat viewer that I created. And you get it in HTML view, so you can see the chat completely in these nice little chat boxes. And you can copy the content from each chat box by clicking the little copy to clipboard. You can see it's nicely formatted. And got a little bit of information up here, the title, date, the model used, number of chats. And you also have it in text view. So you click here and you got it in plain text, as well as HTML view. And what's nice is you can actually save this HTML file. Technically, what we're looking at here is actually a web browser. There's a web browser in here looking at an HTML file. So we can go file and we can save it. Let me bring that in the view here. File. We can send this conversation to the editor just like before. We can also save this conversation to HTML file. So let's save it this way. Now it comes up and it looks beautiful in that one format. Pretty awesome, right? Now let's say you wanted to save more than just this conversation. Well, you can come over here and you can click these check boxes and you can right click and you can save selected conversations to HTML file. In fact, you can save them all if you want. So you just click like that, you click the folder and it'll go ahead and save them. And if you look here, we can see, we can see our files. We can just click on them to look at them. So pretty awesome, right? And another thing you can do is on Windows here, um, you'll see you could type Control F. Uh, this is currently not working very well on a Mac. I'm still uh, trying to figure that out. But for Windows right now, you just go Control F and you can use the finding tool within the web browser. So let's say I want to look for the word Delphi. That's not in this one. So say function. So now you can see it has 45 times and you can see the little lines there where it is. So you can just click and you can go down to exactly where the function, the word function is. So that's really handy to get to the information you're looking for. So this is an extremely useful tool and I find myself using it almost all the time coming back here, trying to find a conversation that I need to look at. So, so that's basically the chat log explorer. I don't think there's anything else to show in here. Um, you can clear everything out by here. You go clear like that. 
and you can hide and show the chat viewer like this. And here there's just self-explanatory stuff. Um, send, send to the script editor and in the load button, let's check out the load button there. So yeah, you can load uh, the JSON file or the zip. So if you click here, I wanna load that zip again. And then you click OK, and it'll load up. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I think that's everything there to see within this little tool. I guess the other thing is if you do a filter here, let's say you do a filter and you click out. To clear that filter, um, you can come down here and click clear filters and that will clear out the filters. And those are called instant filters when you see the actual column turn green. And then up here, this is a little bit different. This is not really a filter. It's actually searching within that JSON data file to try to find that keyword within the entire conversation. So this one is a little bit different than the filters within the columns. So if you come over here and you use this filter here, this is only gonna search the first 350 characters of each one of your conversations. So it's not quite effective as this one up here. So, well, that's it for this video. I just wanna show you the chat log um, explorer and how to export your chat GPT, um, basically complete history onto your computer.